At the West Texas Food Bank, our vision is a West Texas without hunger. We serve 19 counties across West Texas, covering over 34,000 square miles. We were established in 1985 by a small group who wanted to help those in need. Since then, we've grown a lot. In fact, we are currently planning to expand our service centers to address the growing need in our many urban and rural and even frontier communities. Our mission is to alleviate hunger through community partnerships like church pantries, boys and girls clubs, women's shelters, and senior centers. We will not turn anyone away who is hungry, and there is never a fee to our clients who are in need of food. We want to develop more focused programming to deal with very specific needs in our West Texas communities. Our program we'd like to get off the ground is called Food to Seniors. In the rural counties of West Texas, as well as in our metro areas of Midland and Odessa, there are seniors who need more help than we are able to provide. We hope to identify a corporation or other groups to raise funds to support an ongoing senior program and provide volunteers to make up food boxes to go out at least once a month to seniors. The food bank provides food to 74 hunger relief charities throughout West Texas, but that's not all we do. For instance, due to the budget cuts, we had to get creative on how to continue our nutrition education program without financial resources. We built a program using only volunteers. We asked the West Texas Dietetic Association to partner with us, and dietitians now travel to partner agencies to present fruit and vegetable taste tests and other healthy eating events. Often the dietitians are able to incorporate physical activity with food preparation and other nutrition programming. That's cutting edge. We have strategic footholds throughout West Texas because we have partners in every nook and cranny, big and small churches, children's clubs, shelters, and soup kitchens. So we have a well-developed network that is able to get food to a great variety of people in the communities we serve. Our many partners are our strength. We distribute 4 million pounds of food to 75,000 people in need across 19 counties of West Texas. This breaks down to about 15,000 pounds distributed daily, the weight of an African elephant. Because of the way we distribute the majority of the food in our area, that is through our partners, people don't know that we are the foundation of all those organizations that give out food. In a sense, we are the invisible helping hand to so many of our community's organizations. Three years ago, the West Texas Food Bank began a different kind of partnership. We got together with Food to Kids, a local initiative of the Junior League of Odessa and the Education Foundation to assist in providing weekend backpacks full of kid-friendly, ready-to-eat food to children in Odessa schools. These backpacks are then delivered to children who have been identified by their teachers as food insecure. In this, the third year of the program has expanded to elementary schools in Midland. The Junior League raises funds to pay for the food, and the League volunteers pack the food every two weeks. The West Texas Food Bank orders the food, provides storage space for the food, provides space for the volunteers to meet two evenings a month to assemble the backpacks and to transfer the food to the schools. Because of this partnership, Food to Kids has been able to expand slowly to more schools. We are so very happy to have found a way to get food to hungry children in our communities in the most cost-effective manner possible. In 2011, the West Texas Food Bank distributed 5 million pounds of food. In 2012, we are far off the mark with a little under 4 million pounds of food that was actually distributed. This drop in distribution is because in the last two years, surplus food donated to the food bank by the USDA, grocery stores, and other food purveyors has been markedly reduced. In 2011, we failed to receive 17 tractor trailer loads of food from the USDA. The contents of those 17 tractor trailer loads amounted to 680,000 pounds of food with a wholesale value of over $300,000. For 2012, those cutbacks continued. In order to adapt to the changes and still meet increasing demand, we are purchasing wholesale food and using bulk buying power to get the lowest possible price. 
If we were not in place to negotiate cheaper prices on food and provide this savings to many of our partners, they would have to expend more funds and may not even be in the charity food distribution business at all. We could do so much more for people in need if we had the space to become more efficient in shipping, receiving, and providing other support services, but we have run out of space. So we are undertaking a capital campaign over the next year to increase the efficiency with which we can get food to the people who need it most. And we want a space where our volunteers will want to be, whether it is helping us prepare food for the distribution in the warehouse or filling out paperwork in the office, volunteers fulfill a crucial need. In one month, our volunteer man hours can equal the equivalent of $20,000 in wages. With the ongoing reality of diminishing resources, we are concerned that the weakest members of our community are suffering from food insecurity. Food insecurity in an individual simply means a person doesn't have a regular access to healthy meals to live a productive, active life. This is why we want to target senior hunger in a bigger, more comprehensive way, the way we have been targeting childhood hunger with Food to Kids.